Esri Ben Zev, friends of Sam Komen, Shmuel Ben Yaakov, friends of Gideon Lezinski, Mordechai Shlomo Ben Meir, Bella and David Adler, in memory of her father, Eliyahu Ben Yosef Kohen. Those who were inspired by our Rebbe in America, Sheila Shapiro, Sarah Stamalka, Bud Mashulmi Sacha. Uh, Gail and Leslie Kaplan, in memory of their parents, it's Mushka Shprinza, Bud Yosef Chaim Bechava, Hanan Ben Moshe Eliezer Vachana, Pesha Bud Shmuel Yitzchuk Halevi Vitsipora, Isra Ben Yom Moshe Kohen Vachana. Rexford, friends of Gladys Sherman, Gutta Bud Mayer. Michael Klein and friends of Judah Klein, Yehuda Tzvi Ben Chaim. Marsha Brana, in memory of her husband, Aravi Rachmiel Ben Shmuel. Friends and family of Arthur Ritholtz, Mordechai Yudel Ben Baruch Leib HaKohen. Friends and family of Sigi Besla, Shalom Shraga Ben Dov. Friends of Marvin Weinstein, Mordechai Ozer Ben Yisrael Aharon. Sarah Alpert, in memory of her husband, Arav Tzvi Lippa Ben Hillel. A month of learning by Hannah and David Grunblatt, in memory of her mother, Raiza Baschayim, Jill and Perry Meltzer, in memory of her father, Yaakov Ben Yosef, B. Pizer, in memory of her stepfather, Avram Michal Ben Shmuel Halevi, B. Pizer, in memory of her mother, Raiza Bashamai, Jerry and Sharon Glassman, in memory of his mother, Malka Yehuda Spad Eliyahu, Henry Katz and children, in memory of his wife, Lila Leah Mincha Bad Yehuda, Mel and Heron Haller, in memory of his mother, Fega Bad Yaakov, Andrea and David Dolmi, in memory of her mother on the 20th yard site, Edel Sinabat Shimshon. Josh and Carol Sanborn, in memory of his father, Shmuel Arye Ben Borach, and his mother, Chiena Bat Arye Leib. Sharon and Jerry Glassman, in memory of her father, Eliezer Ben Nissen Halevi. David and Hannah Glunblad, in memory of his mother, Esther Yochevet Bat Moshe. Ira Grobert, in memory of his mother, Rosa Bat Yitzchak. A week of learning by Michael and Judith Poretsky in memory of his brother, Chaim Tzvi ben Gershon. Today being the 10th of the month, a day of learning by Charlie Gelfenstein and Sam Levine, in memory of Charlie's wife and Sam's sister, Menucha Sarah Bad Yechiel Michal. May the Shammah's have an aliyah, thank you, Rafael, Velti Yeshiva, Shem Atalia, Chol Ben Israel, a good Gaben Okay. Okay. No. Mitzvah Shabbat Shalom. at the bottom. Yudam and Bey's at the bottom. Just to finish up, we have an argument there. Reish Lakish of Yochan. Reish Lakish says that what? That Chatzir is learned, that a courtyard acquires, is learned from agency, from Shlichus. Yochan says that a courtyard is learned from what? From Yad. Now you have both of those by a get. You have Vishilach, you have agency. And you also have Yada, you have Yad. Okay. We also have we also have shlichus from Karm Pesach. We see that one person could check for the whole Klai Israel. So we now we've we've uh, dealt with the skirmish to some degree. Now we start to let's test and see is it really true. So he said what? So the Gemara says, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you where we are. One, two, three lines from the bottom, smack in the middle of the line. One, two, three lines from the bottom, exactly in the middle. Umi'ika. This rabbi, what is there? Anybody who holds that Chatzar is not learned from Yad? We have an explicit, explicit price, it's different than we learned before. Vatanya, didn't we learn? Yada, then the Pasik says what he has to put, the, he, he writes her a, a divorce paper and he puts it in her hand. Yada, her hand, Ainly Yada. I can only see what he can put to get in her hand. Gago, her roof, Chatzero, her courtyard, the Carpefa, and her corral. Okay, me nine. I don't know that it works there also. Talmud Lomar teaches, but not son. It says since he places it in her hand, and it didn't say into her hand he should put it, but he puts it into her hand. So you learn what? You, uh, but not, it's, uh, it really, you learn what? But not son. Knows me, come, come, in any place, any place where he gives her, even those other places. So you see that a courtyard is learned clearly from, from the rule of Yad. So how can Reish Lakish say that the rule of courtyard is learned from agency? Sigma says, no, nah, you're making a mistake. Lenient get coolly. I'm a low plea of the chutz with Shem Yoda Yisrabi. When it comes to giving a get to a woman, everybody knows that the chutzer that you can use to divorce a woman is learned as an extension of what Yoda from the from the word Yoda from her hand. Kli plea and you The question is now when it comes to a lost object, which is different. Okay, Mar. So now what's the argument? Where do we learn it from? For how do we learn a courtyard for a lost object? Mar. When it comes to Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says. So bar yalfina and mitziyim get. We learn a lost object from the same way as get. Just like a get, you can have also a courtyard. Also to acquire a lost object, acquire a lost object with a courtyard. Umar, but reish lakish sabar. No, 
You can't learn a lost subject from a get. Why? Because you don't learn money from prohibitions, and therefore what? So even though what? Even though uh, even though let's say uh, uh, um, uh, even though the forget she has a courtyard, but what? When it's going to come to a lost subject, she won't have a courtyard. Be by same with a particular minor girl. Okay, be by. So that's one possibility. So therefore, since and, so what, and since when it comes to shlichus, shlichus says ish and ish means a grown person. Forget about a man or woman, but it has to be a grown person. So a minor girl won't have a courtyard for for a, a minor girl has a courtyard for a get because she's learned from yad. But a minor girl won't have a courtyard from uh, from for a lost object because we don't learn we don't learn money from from uh, prohibitions from the of, of, of a married woman, and therefore what and since. Since shlichus, since agency is only for an adult, so the little girl doesn't have it. Be by same, we could say another way like this. Everyone agrees when it comes to a minor girl, everybody agrees that her courtyard is only because of her hand. We're talking about a minor boy. Okay, come if we My Rabbi Yochanan says, so you can learn a minor boy from a minor girl. It's like a minor girl has a courtyard in a get. Also, a minor boy has a courtyard. Umar, Sobar, and Meshlagi says, no, they are feeding cotton miktana. You can't learn a minor boy from a minor girl. That's a special rule. Remember, a minor girl, remember the minor girl is old enough to get a get, etc. All these things. Be by same, another possibility is like this again. That one, that everybody holds, that everyone agrees the other way. Everybody agrees you can't learn money from, from prohibitions. Umar Marchada and Reish Lakish said one thing. Umar Marchada and Yochanan said another thing, and they're not arguing. Below Pliga, they're not arguing. Vishlaka said what he said when he said what that the everyone agrees that there's a difference. But I get a young girl has a yacht, and by by Mitzia she doesn't. So Vishlaka said his rule that there's no chutzer. He's talking about a, a lost object. And when Yochanan said what that she has a chutzer, he was speaking in terms of get, and there's really no argument. Okay, now we got to hold that. Hmm? So everyone agrees that there's no agency for a minor. Okay, there's no agency. There's no agency for a minor. The only question is, yeah, the only question is. Whether I can learn Metzia from Get for a minor girl, and so that's a, that's the issue. Okay, now we're about to learn. We, he, the next piece is is in somewhat complicated, but it's most most of the complication is just keeping your eye on the ball. But it's gonna, and I perhaps I'll help you to say it also properly. But the whole point is to keep your eye on the on the argument. Ra Osan Ratzinacha Metzia. A person saw people running after a lost object in his field. That's inanimate. So that object, that object, they, there's a there's an inanimate object in his field, and he sees other people running to get it. You understand? But that thing is in his field, or similar to a, an inanimate object, a chutzfi shavur, or people are running after a crippled deer. That deer can't can't run out. You understand? You can capture the deer quickly in, in the in the in the thing. Ach, or similarly, another case that's similar to an inanimate object, acha gozola shalapar, or young birds already that can't fly yet. So they also people are running to get them as a lost object. Barman, he says, Zot Ali Sadi, my field is acquired for me. Zotalo, the rule is that it works, and his field acquires for him. It's his, it, it, we're gonna see it's the Kenyan Khatzer. Well, it looks like the Kenyan Khatzer. Oh, yeah, it's three rats kadarko, but if a, if, a, if a deer was running normally, you can't catch it. Oh, should I go to or 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 young birds were already flying, you're not gonna get him. Barma Zot Ali Sadi, he said, My field acquires for me, Lomar Klum. He said nothing. We're gonna see in a minute why that is. Okay, so when the things can't escape, is it because his field acquires, and when not, his field doesn't acquire. He says, He says, When does this whole thing work? When he says, When he says, My field acquired for me, it's only when he was standing there. Why is that? Because I just want to explain something. When we say the word chatzer, the simple word chatzer means a, a courtyard bound by a fence. That's what a chatzer is. A chutzer is a yard bound by a fence. When we say sadu, mean a field, the simple meaning of a field is that it's open. It's not bounded by a fence. So over here he says, whenever this guy wants to, when he says that he can acquire the lost object by saying my field, it has to be that he was standing there, okay? Okay, okay, he has to be what? He has to be kashpar because she'omed with tzadzadeyu. He's standing next to his field, okay? And he says, okay, but me le sadeyu, okay? And, pardon me. Uh, uh, when, he, when he's standing there, when he's standing next to it. Why? Because it has to be a field. We're going to see there has to be a field that is guarded. So if there's no fence, he has to be standing there. I says the Gemara says, what do you mean? Let his field acquire for him, even if he's not standing there. Didn't we say that a person's courtyard can acquire for him even without his knowledge? He doesn't have to be standing there. Gemara says, you're right. But look, 
Ani mili v'chatzer meshtameres. He says, you're right, because that's the word chatzer. A chatzer, by definition, is guarded because it has a fence around it. He says, of a chatzer, she'em meshtameres, but if we were talking about a field where there's no fence around it, and it's not guarded, he omei b'tzad sedevi. And so then if he's standing there, which is the equivalent of a fenced-in field, then his field acquires for him. Be low, if not, low, he doesn't. So this rule is what? So he's saying that the rule of all courtyards is that a courtyard can only acquire for you if the if it's guarded. In other words, either there's a fence around it, a fence around it, or you're standing, you're the equivalent to the fence, you're on top of the object that's in the courtyard. That's the principle. So now the Gemara says like this, I mean, not take. Right, that's a good question where they're right to go, but they're, but, they're, but they're doing it. That's another question we'll come to. But, 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 they're, they're, but that's not the question. The question is, can, can, question is, can he can he say that his field acquired it? That's the point. point. Who, who wins in this fight? Who wins in this fight? It was so big that he can't see from one end to the other. So we're going to talk about it, right? The way, we've, the way we've couched it now, he has to be able to catch the animal. That's the main point. So if the animal's crippled, just like, a, like, just like an animal object, he can sure catch it, so then that's what we're going to talk about it. But if he can't, then it's not going to work. I'm saying that's what that's what we're talking about. By definition, he has to be able to catch. He has to have control or, or guardianship over the object. That's I think. I mean, I think I'm answering it. That's that's the point. That's exactly the point. Okay, now, okay, so now get ready. This is a little difficult, but we're going to do it. Okay. First, I want to show you something. There's a classic style of joke. When I was growing up, you, you say personal say like this. You know, when we were young, our house was tiny, but it was dirty. I didn't get a laugh. Our house was small, but it was dirty. What are you expecting him to say? Our house was small, but it was clean. You know, saying, you know, you know, said, our, you know, our house was tiny, but we were happy. You guess our house was tiny, but we were miserable. You know, saying that's a joke, why? Because it's 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 a it, it, it's 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 it fails it fails to resolve in the resolution that you want. Look at the we're going to read a Bryce that does the same thing, and we have to solve that because it's strange. We're going to be able to use it as a proof. Let's look. He says, Where are you going to say the chata shemeshameres? That any field that's not guarded, which is any any courtyard which is not guarded, which is the equivalent of a field, Eo made but in. If he's standing next to it, yes, we low low. If he's not standing, no. I want to show you a proof what that that a field that, that a courtyard always has to be what. If a courtyard doesn't have a fence, you have to be standing there. How am I going to prove it? So I have this brisa that seems it's so strange. It's almost like a joke. It says, Haya Omed. Now you know there's a rule called shikha. I have to shikha is a rule. If you if you uh, uh, you forgot cheese that you harvest it, so it's going to go to the it's going to go to the poor. But there's a rule. Shikha has to be the owner has to forget, the workers have to forget, the owner has to forget, the workers have to forget. And the truth is that uh, that um, uh, we're going to see in a minute if the, what, what if the owner remembers and then the workers forget and then the owner forgets. In the end you have to have everybody forgetting one way or another. So we're going to see a rule now. Let's look how strange it is. It says. He says, he says, how you owe me ear, the owner of the boss was in town. And he said, Omer, and he says, Yodani, show me I know that there is a sheaf lying in the in my field. Okay, in my field. And I didn't forget it. I put it there on purpose. Okay. I want my workers to pick it up. Paulim Shahu, and now the and now the workers forgot it. So he remembered and the workers forgot it. And then in the end, he also forgot. But he said, he said, I have a, I, this thing is not forgotten. I remember, and the workers should pick it up. The workers forgot, he forgot. Lo ye shikha? Would you think that it's, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. okay he, and he's, pardon me, lo ye shikha. He says, it shouldn't be, so it's not forgotten. He says, listen, I, this, this sheave, I know that it's there, and I expect the workers to pick it up, and they forget it. It's not, it's not shikha. And then he forgets. He said, but he said it's not. Yacha lo ye shikha? You might would you, should you think that it's not shikha? So what's the res, what should the resolution be? If I speak this way, you would think it's not shikha. You think it's not shikha? What you think it should be? Of course it is shikha. But look at the resolution. You think it's not shikha? Talmud Loma, the pasuk says, "V'shachachta Omer Basada." If you forget a sheaf in the field, a bundle of sheaves in the field, Basada, I Basada shachachta. It's only if you forget it in the field below here, but not when you forget it in the city. So when you forget it in the city, it's not forgetting at all. So look how it's a non sequitur. The mission said, what, you think it's not shikha? Yeah, it's not shikha, because shikha is only in the field and not in the city. So it resolves the opposite of what you said. You think this isn't shikha? Yeah, it's not shikha. You think this is, you think I'm not coming? Yeah, I'm not coming. It doesn't make any sense. So because it's so strange, we have to read it in a way that's going to show us a very special rule. And that is what? It's going to show us a rule. It's going to show us a rule, and it's going to tell us about a, 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 a watching a courtyard. 
So he first we said, Hagu for Kasha. This price is self contradictory. Amarto, Yochole or Shikha, he said, Well, you think it's not Shikha, which I'm expecting you to say what? Alma, heavy Shikha, which you, you're obviously trying to say, Yeah, it sure is. You think it's not, it is. But Nasiv La Gemara, okay, and then it brings and then it brings a, 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 a proof, okay. Okay, the Bryce brings a proof. No, it's only when you forget it in the field, but not when you forget it in the city. Alma, which implies what? That it's not Shikha. It doesn't make any sense. You think it's not Shikha? Yeah, I'll prove to you that it's not Shikha. It doesn't make any sense. Ella Lama Hikamar, isn't that isn't that what this what it's really saying? But saw that in the it's only in the field, Shahuach Mi Karo, okay, that the owner has to have forgotten originally. Pardon me, if he forgot originally, okay. And okay, and then the workers forgot it. Heavy shikha. It has to be that he forgot it. Okay, only in order in the field he has to forget it from the outset, and the workers then forget it also. But zochur. But if he remembered first, and then the workers forget, it, and then he forgets in the field. As long as he remembered in the beginning, even if the workers forgot, it, he forgot in the end. Ain't shikha. It's not shikha. My time. What's the reason? They came in the koi gabo because since he's standing there. And he remembered it. Okay, the second that the worker forget it, since he remembered his field as a courtyard because he's standing there, acquires it for him. So it's too late for him to forget after they forgot. So when is that true? It's in the field. In the field is only when he forgot the beetle. But if he remembered in the beginning, his field's going to acquire for him. Avo, but here, but in the city, afilu zochel of But in the field. Even if he remembers, even if he remembers, and in the end he forgot, okay, have a shikha, really a shikha. My time, what's the reason? The let the gabe, because he's not there to acquire it. So now, how does the Bryce read? What? He says, listen, he said, what? He said, listen, I remember it. He says, he says, he says you think that it's you think that it's not shikha? It's going to be like the field? No. In the field, if he remembered and the workers forgot, and then he forgot, it, it, it's not shikha. Why? Because his field acquired him because he was standing there. Okay, but saw that that works. But in the but in the city, in the city, even though he remembered, it's not gonna help him and forget and then he forgets why. Because his field's not there to acquire for him. Why? Because he's in the city and not in the field. So you see clearly what? So you see clearly what? That a that the chutzer only works, only acquires for him when he's when he when it's right. Mishnah So either the either there's a fence or he's standing there. Beautiful. To, to solve the non sequitur, it has to be that. Oh, it's only in the field that you have to forget first. But if you remember first, it doesn't happen. But in the city, even if you remember first, it's not going to help you. Why? Once the workers forget, and you forget because you're because your your field you're not saying that's the field to make your field a chutzner to acquire for you. Chutzner mishta meres, huh? Because you're in the city, and, and right? And and your field is not fenced by definition. So now, now get ready. So let, let's hold. You have to keep, keep score. So he said, I can't, therefore I prove from the Bryce that what? That, that, that the Bryce is telling me clearly that the only way to explain this non sequitur the Bryce is to say what? That it's differentiating between standing next to the field when you remembered or not standing next to the field you remembered. And that's why in the field it works to, to acquire in the city, it doesn't. I said, no, get out of here. That's not what the Bryce is saying. Really, you have to reread the Bryce. And the Bryce says, no, it says, the Bryce really says, you think, instead of reading, instead of reading, uh, that you think it's not it's not shikha? No, you think read this way. You think it's shikha? No, it's not shikha. You think it's shikha? No, it's not. So you change the beginning. We're going to read it differently. He says no. He says Dilma, this is what really happened. It's a decree of the text. The basad and every shikha. shikha. No, the reason why it says saw is telling me what There's the whole rule of shikha only applies in the field, not in the city. So once you're in the city, even if you're forgot, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't go back. Okay. And, and the bride said, You think this is shikha? Nah, it's not shikha because in the field it's shikha, not in the city. So he, to defend his proof, he says, No, you can't read it that way. He says, That's not true. He says, It's impossible to say that the Bryce is teaching me that there's no forgetting in the city. Omar Kral, the Pasuk says, When you forget a, a, a bundle of sheaves in the field, it says, Don't come back to get it. That extra language, don't come back to get it, is coming. To include even if you forgot in the city? Mar says, no, no, no. Don't worry. Hi me by He says, he says, he says, really, he's he, okay, he's, he says, therefore what? So he says that's coming to include in the city. 
So he, he says, I one second. Can it really be coming to tell me the city it had to say don't come back? Because all it said before was what it belongs to the other people. So but it's not coming to include that in the to say in the city it's not in the city that it that it is Shekha. It's coming just to make to make the negative precept. Where it says, no, in Kane name a crawl If it really just made to make a negative precept, where it said don't take it. My lot sashu, why did they say don't come back? The Rabba Shikba here to teach me what that even forgetting the city is forgetting. Therefore, we're back to square one. The it can't be coming to say what that to say what that there's no forgetting in the city, and therefore it must be the other way, the inverted way. The bride is coming to teach me that 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 remembering in the field can save you, remembering in, and the city's not going to save you. Okay, I says but Hasmi by the way says no, no. He, he says one second. He says it's not true. He says there's a whole nother rule. Uh, it, it's a complicated piece, but there's a point like this. A certain point where a guy is is going down the field. When he gets to the end of the row, he leaves parts over and goes to the next row. So that's called shikha lefanav. There's no shikha in front of him. Why? Because the part he left over can be part of a different kind of row. goes the other way. doesn't matter to us. The main point is like this. We're going to use those words to learn a different law. Okay? And the, the way that we're defending our proof is by saying nobody can say that there's no shikha in the city. Okay, because we know that there is shikha in the city. Why does get out of here? Maybe the words that you want to say that there is shikha in the city was there for a different reason. It's not there to teach me that there's shikha in the city. But rather, really, I can learn that price that there's no shikha in the city, and you have no proof. He says, why? Because with that, what the verse, don't come back, is to teach me. In front of the person who's harvesting, there is no forgetting, and behind them, there is forgetting. There is forgetting. Okay, Shahu Babaltashu. Why okay, why? Because whatever's behind them is is included in the rule of what don't go back. But what's in front of him, even though it looks like Shikha, since it's not in the rule of don't go back, it's not called Shikha. Zakla, and that's where we learn Kol Shu Babaltashu Shikha. Anything that, that applies, don't go back is forgetting. Because she ain't about Baltashu, but anything is not in, in going back, ain't no shikha. Therefore, what? But what's the main point? So now you don't have an extra verse to learn what? That there, that there is shikha in the city, and maybe there's no shikha in the city, and your proof is no proof. Okay, uh, 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 there's no proof. <clears throat> Pardon me, one second. I'm sorry. He says, therefore, since I, sorry, since I'm sorry, you don't have an extra puzzle to learn that there's no shikha in the city. I, I didn't say correctly that there's no shikha in the city. And therefore, our original proof stands. Which what the only way to read the Bryce is the way we read, we read it. So the Bryce is saying it's only in the field that if you remember, and then the workers forget and you remember that it's not shikha because you're because your your courtyard acquires you and they forget because you're standing there, but not in the city because you're not standing there. Furthermore, another proof of the same point. He says he says uh, he says I'm going to show you again that you can't say that there's no shikha in the city. Amr Avashi, Amr Kral, the Pasig says that here you have to leave it. It, it, go, it belongs to the Ger Yasal It goes to the it goes to the sojourner and to the mine uh, to the to the um, orphan and to the widow yet. It, it belongs to them. Okay. And since it didn't say what Tazovo, something, it says leave it for them. It says it's gonna belong to them. Lerabo Shikha Sa'ir, that's coming to include another point again to prove that coming to include what? That Shikha in the city is also Shikha. Okay. Okay, so now again we prove the same point. So since you can't say that the Brisa reads what that there's no shikha in the city, because I proved to there is shikha in the city, the only way to read the Brice is like we said, is the Brice is saying what? That it's only in the field that if you remember and they forget and you remember that it's that it's not shikha. Why? Because you feel the quiet field because you're regarding it, but not in the city where if even if you remember and they forget and you forget, it's still shikha. Why? Because your field doesn't acquire for you. Why? Because you're not standing next. Okay, and therefore, Bechein Amar Ula, Ula said the same thing. Okay, so it, this, if, if, if I, I promise, it, it's, it, as, as I said to you, it's not as difficult as it may look. You just have to keep your eye on the ball. As I say, keeping score of the argument, I'm telling you, is more important than the content of the Gemara. If you learn, believe me, I'm telling you, if you always following the argument, you're going to do much better. Why? Because the facts you can always get for free, they'll always come through. But the thesis is what the Gemara is teaching you, and everything else comes along. I'm going to tell you one thing quickly because I'm not late. The Chavetz Chaim's Hebrew was really beautiful. You know that. His Hebrew was beautiful. His Hebrew was actually, it was beautiful. It was particularly beautiful. Now, Hebrew was not really the domain so much of the religious people around his time because the anti-religious Jews had made Hebrew. There are two things that the anti the Maskilim, the Jews against Judaism, they made two things there 
their fortress. One was Tanakh, and the other was Hebrew. So, uh, you know, so to show that those religious people, oh, they're all ignoramuses, they know not, they don't even know, they don't even know the Tanakh, you know, they don't even know the Tanakh. Oh, and to show, oh, they don't know Hebrew. So, so uh, it was, and, and a lot of religious people really did stay away from Tanakh and did stay away from Hebrew because it was the domain of the, of the, of the heretics. Jewish heretics be, be made it their business to be experts, experts in the 24 books and made it their business to be experts in Hebrew. Now, of course, really every time a is supposed to know the 24 books. But unfortunately, as a reaction, it, it really happened. Religious people kind of stayed away from Tanakh and religious people also stayed away from Hebrew. Not everybody, but some. So, but not everybody did it. So there's a book, for example, by the Chazon Ish. There's a book that you have. The Chazon Ish was, was a famous bastion of religious Judaism against the heretics, you know. So he wrote a book called Emuna Ubitachon, if you know that book. That the Hebrew in that book will twist your head around. It is, it is, it is, it's the in Israel they call it Ivrit Shel Shabbat. It said Shabbos Hebrew. It's the most highfalutin Hebrew in the world. So one of my chavrus is a Rabbi Beller. He said, the Chazuni says, uh, you want Ivrit? I'll give you Ivrit. He says, I'll, I'll show you Ivrit. He, he knocked their he knocked their heads off. He could speak Hebrew better than everybody. So another, but the Chavetz Chaim had beautiful Hebrew. So a guy came to him once and he said, how did you get such beautiful Hebrew? You must have worked a long time on the Hebrew. He said, no, I didn't. I didn't. He says, I, I didn't. I'll tell you what happened. Let me explain to you. He says, you know, I have a, I have a, stop, a shop. He used to have a grocery store, the Chavetz Chaim. So he said, if you come to my grocery, he says, he says, and you buy a fish. He says, I, I take the fish. I, I put it and I put it into a bag and I give you the fish. He's saying, you bought a fish. I give you a bag. It's free. He says, if you come to my grocery for a bag, I give you the bag and I charge you for the bag. He said, if you buy a fish, you get the bag for free. If you buy if you buy a bag, I charge you for the bag. He says, if you want to learn Hebrew to become an expert in Hebrew, you have to put a long time in. You're going to have to pay for the bag, he says. He says, but if you learn Torah, he says, you get the bag for free. You get Hebrew for free. So he says, if, if you work hard and you learn the Navi, you become a master of Hebrew. He said, he, so from learning well, he said, the other way, so you can get it. The same thing I'm trying to tell you, if you're going to, if, and this what this is why so many modern people have such a hard time with the Gemara because they're used to Western learning. I'm telling you, this is the mistake. So in Western learning, you can't help yourself. You're used to a kind of dumbed down kind of education. The, the, the Greek way, which is the American way and the European way, is stupid. It's a dumb way. It works, but it's for dummies. What is that? It's all everything is broken into categories. Now listen, one second. Children, there are the car has the car has the uh, the fuel system. The electrical system and everything broken down. Now let's begin with the, the fuel system. It's this and this and this. The electrical system. This is classic, classic Western learning. Everything is dumbed down. You know, what I'm saying the Gemara doesn't learn that way. Why? Because it's you. It's like learning the phone book for crying out loud. Okay, that's how they teach in medical school. It's, it's so dumb. The anatomy drives everybody crazy. Okay, memorize the bones of the thing. Tell me all the things. The deck system. The lintel system. They gotta, it, it's a very dumb way to learn. You just got. You got. You got to bang it into your head. You get a march in the end. Lots of people who look at a lot of people who you think are very educated just have just have a they have they have a bullhead. They're bullheaded, so they can memorize. A lot, I'm telling you, a lot of people they're not so educated, they're not so intelligent. They just got bull, they're bullheaded people. So they, they sit up with the, with the anatomy book. I was saying, there's libel, thigh bone connected. Whatever. He's not a good doctor. He's not a good doctor. He's just good at the thigh bone connected thing. He can pass the exam. I'm telling you, a lot of them, they're not they're just they're bullheaded. They, oh. Oh, so now okay, but stick with me. I'm not teaching medicine because I'm not a doctor, but I know I would. I know I would teach it if I was a doctor. I would teach it the way the Gemara teaches, and this is what I'm telling. This is what I'm, yeah. That's why I get in the fights over here because I'm a Gemara man. The Gemara way is organic. Instead of sitting down, okay, everybody, memorize this. Let's give you an overview. Don't give me an overview. Teach it to me. I'm an intelligent person. I'll get the point. What do you do if you put a person? How do you hear? Do you have a? Do you ever have a baby? What, which parents sat down and took a dictionary? Okay, we got the kid. Okay, now, aardvark. A, A. You te that you teach him English? Okay, aardvark, Adams. You know, what are you, what are you, you, know, the, you, you talk to the baby, and the baby hears, blah, 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 blah. The baby starts imitating the sound. Blah, 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 blah. Get, and the eventually, baby starts speaking. First, they get the rhythm, they get the tone, and they speak. That's how you do it. I didn't teach a kid Torah. The kid, before, like, long before the kid is 12 years old, about Smith, or 13 years old, about Smith, they saw Abdullah 50 million times. They know what Abdullah is. You know, say later, they figure out, they, oh, this is this. They get it. You put it to, you put the person into the middle and work your way out. They study everything in context because context teaches everything. So how does the Gemara teach? Here, that's how the Gemara starts. The Gemara starts, well, what do you mean? The second the Gemara says, oh, that's a fight. Wait, wait, I don't know what's going on. Don't worry about it. Follow the argument. You'll become wise. That's how the Gemara, wait a second. 
I just learned one line. Everybody's arguing. I don't know what you're talking about. That's right. Listen to the argument. I'm, I'm not yelling at you. I love you. I say, That's how the Gemara teaches. Went, Wait a minute. You, you just told me a line. And now, and now, you, now you're arguing? Yes. Follow the argument. Shut your mouth. and you know, I'm not, I mean, Shut your mouth and listen. Listen to the argument. And you'll all the facts will parade into your mind. By the time you figure out the argument, you'll get the facts like that. Because the facts can only be that way. Because that's how the argument went. He said, the other way. Instead of memorizing the phone book, which is going to drive it, unless you're, unless you're, the abnormal savants are not normal people. A savant, they're abnormal. Even even ones are the same. They're abnormal. So the, the only person in Longobar is abnormal. It's not that way. Normal people, if you put them in context, they remember. Oh, right, no, because this goes with that. That must be the fact. You can regenerate the facts over and over again because that's the argument. You see, what I'm saying the other way. So if you're busy trying to track down the facts, that's how why modern people have a hard time learning Gemara. Wait, wait, well, what about it? Well, then what? I, just don't worry about it. Follow the argument. The, the last thing you got to worry about, the facts don't come to you. Well, you'll, by the way, once you review the argument, all that, that's the fact. But if you try to remember the facts cold every single minute, you're, you, you literally have to be a savant. You have, here you think, I knew a guy, I knew a guy knew, who knew, knew a guy knew the phone book. Really? I see. Sorry for him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. This guy, this, uh, this guy was a beautiful guy. He 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 he, he was born in Transylvania. He was born in Transylvania, and he uh, he went through the war, you know. And then went to went to school after the war. He survived. Went to the when they went they went. He was in Prague, and he's in medical school. So the guy pulled. He got to see this. He took him over to the like, psychiatric department to see a guy who knew every phone number in the Prague, phone, every name and phone number in the Prague phone book. He says, "Okay, good, but he has nothing. What, 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 what good? What good that to you?" But the guy was a beautiful guy. The guy the guy wasn't religious. After the war, became religious. And after the war, he took his friend who was a, who wouldn't believe in anything. He took his friend to Lubavitcher. And this, this I thought was a great answer. He takes his friend to Lubavitcher. The guy says, the guy says, look, you know, he's had it. He's fed, no God, no, don't give me this God stuff. So he says to Lubavitcher, he says, listen, I don't want to hear, I don't want philosophy. I don't hear any answers. I just want to know one thing. Here, this war, you know, this Holocaust. So what it mean to you personally? That's all I don't want to hear. Don't give me all your religious stuff. Just tell me, what did this war mean to you personally? So Lubavitcher Rebbe looked at me and says, what did the war mean to me personally? He says, he says, used to be 18 million Jews in the world, and now there's only 12, he says. Means to me personally, from this day, every Jew got to be a Jew and a half. That was the answer. That's what he, that's what he means to me personally. I think I told him, I heard, I heard that personally from the guy. But anyway, that's the point. He went trying. So that's, that's not what you want to be. That's the mistake. Otherwise, and that's why people, they, what do you think? Geniuses are something. I don't I, Geniuses don't impress me at all. I've met a million geniuses. Not a million, but a lot. I met a lot of geniuses. So what? So God gave you a big ring. God bless you. What, it makes you a good person? What do you think? It makes you good because you're smart? It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. That's nothing. And what? And you think the Torah was written only for geniuses? What kind of God is that? It's not a very fair God. He told all the Jews to learn the Torah, and it's only for geniuses? That's not true. The Torah is for everybody. That's what it says in the Gemara. It says it's not true. They got this whole code, and, they, and, they, and there's a whole branch of Judaism. I hate them. I hate them. I, I walk out of those places. I call them the beat them up school of Judaism. They're, everybody's a smart aleck, and every guy got a guy got to show how smart he is. And who's the rabbi? They have to beat up everybody. That's the rabbi. He's the biggest beater upper. I I I run away from those places. I hate those places. I hate yeshivas like that. I hate shuls like I leave. That's your that's your Judaism. No, I'm smarter than you. You're a pig head. <laughs> that's a rabbi. That's a tamachacham. The Tama Chacham is modest and loving and kind and sweet. What do you, that's nothing. Every normal person can become a Tama Chacham. And I used to tell my guys in Yeshiva all the time, ask them, ask them. I told them, I know Gedolim who aren't as smart as you. And it was true. I know Gedolim Israel not as smart as you. But they're Gedolim and you're not. That's what I told my students. This, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? It makes you something because you're smart? Because God put more noodles in your head than the other guy? So what? It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's a gift. It's a gift. No, it helps. But my point is, yeah, yeah. Oh, so no, it's the same thing. That's what I'm trying to. This is what I'm trying to tell. Now, now, we, with all the greatest love, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's always been like this since the look at. I told you, look in the Gemara and look in the Rambam. Like I, I begged you a few months ago, read it. Here, Moshe Rita came down right away. They told the whole temple, right? And second, he came down. He told them the Pasuk of Sukkah. Then he told them the whole oral law. And the whole, it always came down in context. And, and then they repeated it. Everybody repeated to repeat it in the tens and the hundreds. And every repeat, by the time you repeated it 50 billion times, everybody got it because it was in context. That's always the way it was done. 
It was always done that way. And that's why here. Why do you think the Rambam was so controversial? Every, people are so, they don't, they don't think. What, the, of course, the Rambam was outrageous. Here, when you look at the rush, what does the rush look like? He's following the Gemara along. What does the riff look like? He's following the Gemara along. All of a sudden, you come to the Rambam. <gasps> Uh-oh, where, where is this? Is this Jewish? All of a sudden, the Rambam got a whole new, it's a whole new Torah. No, he's got laws of this, laws of that. What Masechta is that? All of a sudden, he's reorganizing the whole Gemara and writing it out in an expository fashion with no dialogue. Of course, they, of course they flipped out. They thought, he's, they thought he's leaving Judaism. You say, oh, I'm dead here. Wait, all of a sudden, you, all of a sudden you, you stripped the oral law of its dialogue? And you know, it, it's dead. You just killed it. And, in, and, and, and but obviously, with the greatest effect, in a certain respect, they were right. But we couldn't survive. We were in exile, so in the end, it, we had to do it. We had, we, had, we had to go and take the, the non-Torah presentation of Torah to survive. Because people weren't in the base medish the way they were before. You see, my boy said, please, I'm, you, you, you must say I'm just a hothead. Okay, I'm also a hothead, but I'm not just a hothead. <laughs> That's my brother. Because whenever they say to my brother, they say, oh, you're just this. He says, no, no, I'm just, I'm not just that. I'm also that, he says. <laughs> but anyway, the point, so I'm also a hothead, but I'm not, my point is like, if you pay attention to the arguments always, you'll win. You're always going to win. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Why? Because if you follow the argument and you know it well, you'll always retrieve the facts. But if you try and get the facts alone, they have no context. You may never retrieve them. See what I'm saying? And that's always, that's always the best. It looks like the harder way and it looks like the longer way. And it may be in the beginning, but in the end, it's the shorter way. And in the end, it's the easier way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's always that's always the point. You follow the argument, you'll always win. That was this. So I'm saying this piece which you just did, which yeah, I had a struggle to put it down to say. I hope I said it correctly. <laughs> I hope I said it. But the real point is what? Because but the real point is to follow the argument. You follow the argument. You know the facts are coming. And I don't know, but you'll see throughout the halacha, every place in the halacha. Take a look. You'll see when we find out the halacha through through the post game and the rishonu. What are they saying? No, no, no. Since this was the argument of the Gemara, that can't be the fact. This had to be the fact because if that was the fact, that can't be the argument. That's how we prove the halacha every day. We do it. That's our that's our bread and butter and the halacha. That's how it's done. But if you're just going to try and memorize and like these idiots, they read the Rambam and think they can pass in halacha, and they're fools. And certainly the people who read the Shulchan Aruch, which is the last book in the world you should use as your primary source of the halacha, because it's not even a book. The Shulchan Aruch makes no sense whatsoever. It's not even a book. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a list of conclusions. It's not a book at all. It's not even a book. It's not, it's not a, emphatically, it's not a book. Then I'm going to just have disparate facts and try to know what to do. You'll never know what to do. You'll never know what the halacha is. It's impossible. It's impossible. You can't possibly know. It'll never happen. So the only way. I've been just wanted uh, to that yeah, he thought this was you're going, he thought you're going to learn his base Yosef and learn the tour. And then what he he thought, you know, but the Shokhanach has four big sections. He thought you were going to review the whole thing every 30 days. He didn't think you were going to learn the Allah with the Shokhanach. He said, the Shokhanach going to be able to, I'm like, I'm like, like Ashray, you know it by heart. That's what he thought. Okay, lecture over. But I'm trying to say, Take, take my words to heart. You'll see. You'll see at every stage and every age. You follow the argument. What they? What, what's the? What's, what's the IRS thing? Follow the money. Yeah. You know, with the with the with the, with the, with the crowd. Follow the argument. You'll, you'll 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 capture the guy. Follow the argument. The more you'll see. You take my word for it. You'll see. Follow the argument. You'll always know what's going on. If you don't follow the argument, you'll never know. Okay, good. So now. <laughs> no, I'm not in bright. I I'll only the same way I was impressed with it with a guy who does a double backflip or or, or a half gainer. You know, see, or a guy the guy with the guy, the guy with the motorcycle, there's three flips in the air, you know, with holding on to the motorcycle. I'm impressed, but but like any like any performer. Like any performer. That's not the point. Right. Exactly. That's not the point. The, the, the people that we admire are not smarter than us. They're better humans. The people we look up to are better people. That's why we admire them, because they're better human beings, because they are more faithful, more honest, more loving, more kind. Huh? They're, that's, that's, that's everything. That's, that's everything. The, 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 I never met a great person that wasn't, that wasn't a refined and beautiful and modest and humble human being. And whenever I saw the other place, I always found that the term wasn't, wasn't correct. No matter what a genius the guy was, if the person didn't have me this Thomas, I always found that. It took me, it may take me a year to catch up with them. But you always see it's not real. It's not real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They all were all of them were. You know what they used to say? You know, you know what the famous saying was in Europe? They said if Chaim Brisker, 
was he was the guy known as a you know the genius is genius and the Chavetz Chaim was the big tzaddik. So they used to say in Europe, they used to say that the that the lumdus of Rav Chaim covered over for the world is tremendous. Because if you read about his life, he was outstandingly kind. He went out of incredible things that he did for other people. So he said his learning covered up his, his sitkas. And they said, but the time his sitkas covered up his learning. Everybody knew him to be the big side. They forgot what incredible lam, a, a monster lamdan he was. They all, the whole thing, every person of value, every person of value is a person of character, etc. And, and the mastery of the Torah came from good character. That's what did it in the end. He said, not that they were a genius. And I, if you, like, you're right. You're right. If they're handing out intelligence, grab it. I'll, I'll take more. You know, saying if they hand it out, it's, it's a gift. It's a gift, but that's not what determines it in the end. Every normal person can become a tamachacham. Every normal person can become a tzaddik. That's the rule of the Torah. Otherwise, God's not a god. God can't command everybody the Torah, and only a few people can learn it. That's not a god, and it's not true. Everybody can. But this is the point. Okay, I'm sorry I took so much. It's so important what I'm telling you. It's so important. Try it. I have ideas here. We have to talk a little. Bit. I have some. I have some ideas of things we can do. Okay. But anyway. Okay. Okay. AC Rabbi Ula. Rabbi Abba said to Ula, he says, he says, my Sabrami, he says, I want to ask you a kasha. This rule of the of the watched courtyard, he says, my Sabrami, Leo, but the king of by Messina. One time, Rabbi Leo and the other rabbis were on a ship. Okay, and Rabbi Leo realized, ay, 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 you know, I have stuff at home where I didn't take the Trumas and Maestros. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't take the time. Now, what's the problem with that? No, it's at home. What's the big deal? The answer is because we have a rule. There's a chazaka that a tamachach never leaves, lets anything out of his hands that's not fixed. There's a rule. A chazaka, the tamachach doesn't let anything out of his hands that's not fixed. So he's afraid that the people over here, I mean, Gamaliel wouldn't have gone on the boat if, if this stuff wasn't wasn't the ready true. So Mice is taken. Must be it's okay. So he's terrified. You understand? That people, whatever happened by accident, people are going to think that this stuff is tithed and it wasn't tithed. So he wants a way to tithe it on the boat. Now, what's he going to do? He's not there. He can't take he can't take the he can't take the Meister and give it to the Levy. He can't do he can't do he, he's not there. What's he going to do? I'm wrong with Gamaliel. So Gamaliel said, Isr Shaniasi Lamod. He says, okay, look, there's one tenth I'm designating that one that that uh, it's going to come a point that I'm going to I'm going to measure it out of that pile. Nasi Yeshua, it's given to Yeshua and Hanania, who's a lady who's here on the boat with me. He says, I'm giving it to I'm giving it to 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 you, okay? Como, okay, but it's not enough just to say it. And he can't do him. Muscalo, and it's place the place where it is. I'm renting to him, and he takes money. He takes he takes he takes up rent from it. He takes a buck for rent. He says, he's going to this lady on the boat, and, I, and I'm renting, he give me a buck, I'm renting you the space so that you're going to acquire it. But Yisar Acher, and the second one, it, was, it must be the third of the sixth year, it was the year of Maiser Ani, which you have to separate a tenth and take it up to Yerushalayim. So I also the second tenth, Nasan Akiva Ben Yosef, okay, but, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, it was the third, the third and the sixth year that the, that the second Maiser goes to the poor person, that's the opposite way, not, 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 not to go to Yerushalayim. It was a third of the sixth year, and the Meister goes to the, to the poor people. He says, so a second tenth that I separate, Nosan the Kiva Ben Yosef, and give it to the Kiva Ben Yosef, who's a Gabay Tzedaka, and uh, okay, and I'm giving it to Akadeshi Skabalanim, so he acquires it for the poor people. But again, it's not in his hand to give it over. So what does he do? Umakoma Muskolo, I'm renting in the place. Give me a buck. He takes a buck from him, and he rented him the place, okay? Okay, now, he says, one second. One second. So now, he, we figure, what is he doing? He is selling them. He, he's giving this stuff with a Kenyan of a chatzer. Okay, this stuff's in the chatzer. The, he, what, he rented the place. It's their chatzer. They're going to acquire the, the, the maestros. So you see what? Were they standing there? No. So you see what? You don't have to be standing next to your next to your courtyard for it to acquire. And it's a field. Remember, it's in the field. Okay? It's in the field. It's a field. Pardon me. It's in the field. Amar um, Lay, so he said to him, uh, he says, so he asked the Kashtar Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Abba was so, was so appalled by the question. He said, he says, Dame Haimri Abba, he says, he says, he says this, this guy must, this must be somebody who doesn't learn Gemara. This guy, this is, no, this is so elementary, I don't even deign to answer him. This guy doesn't even know how to learn. I don't know what he's doing now. But he did, but Rabbi Abba didn't get it. Okay, Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Abba, uh, Ula said that about Rabbi Abba. Rabbi didn't, he didn't get the point. He got to the sura when Rabbi got the sura. Amalu, so he said to the rabbis, Ula. This is what Ula said. You know, uh, Ula said the rule of what that uh, that uh, that a field that, that your field only acquires to you if you're standing next to it. And I asked him this kasha from Ram Gamliel, who clearly passed over the the Maisros with a field and he wasn't standing there. So when the rabbis answered him, don't worry, he says, He said, you made a mistake. 
You asked your kasha, assuming that he was trying to use a Kenyan chatzer. You're right, but he wasn't using a Kenyan chatzer. Had he used a Kenyan chatzer, it wouldn't have worked. Oh, why? Because he wasn't standing there. Because there wasn't the person. Because the person person come. Because the person wasn't standing there. Because the other people, I was sure, the, the other beer rabbis that he's acquiring it to weren't standing next to the field. If I said it backwards, he says. But here, what the problem was, he was using a Kenyan aga. Remember, we learned about Kenyan aga. If I sell you land. Even though I, even though the, even though the Kenyan I use for the land is not a good Kenyan for the metalclin, the second you pay me the money for the land, I can sell you the land together with metalclin. Even though money doesn't buy the metalclin, but if I sell you land, when you give me the money for the land, you acquire the metalclin. I ring up Leo metalclin. I got my car. No, no, he was selling them. He was he was what he was creating. He was giving them the the movables, the miser, together with the, together with, with with selling the land. Okay, renting the land is the same thing. Okay, and there therefore, even though the Kenyan wasn't good. For, on its own for the for the miser, but once it was good for land, it's also good for what for the matalton. So that's why I didn't bother to answer him. Rav Zera Kabla, okay, Rav Zera said, "Wow, that's a good answer. That's clear. That's must be Ula. That's what Ula was saying. He accepted it." Rabbi Abba Kabla, Rabbi Abba, who was the who was the who was the principal, he said, no, "He didn't like the answer. He still didn't like the answer." Amar Rava Shapir and Rava said, "What?" He says, "The low kibler." And Rabbi Abba was right for not accepting that defense of Ula. Why? He why? Because you want to tell me what it was a Kenyan aga, and he was going to give them the land, and by giving them the land, he was he was giving them the 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 mices. And he had to do this whole uh, by way of Alaska. They didn't have they didn't they didn't nobody had a scarf, nobody had a handkerchief on that boat. All you had to do was Kenyan chalipin. Anybody could do this. If I want to sell you, if I want to say here, if you want to sell me your chametz, what I do, I take my handkerchief, if I give it to you, you pick it up, I own the chametz. Yeah, yeah. If, if the buyer gives the seller a, a scarf, it, it's done. You had to do a whole thing by way of Alaska with land. Take take your scarf and, and give it. Uh, 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 let let each of the rabbis that you want to give the meiser to give you their scarf, and you give them the meiser. Big goodbye, Charlie. The chalipin. So the fact was what? So why didn't they just use chalipin a scarf? Ella, you must be what Thomas said. No, ain't a ain't a mum on the close man of Chalip. And I'll tell you why. Because your right to give miser is not the ownership of the miser. The tenth that you're giving doesn't belong to you, according to this opinion. You only have the right to decide. You have the minimal ownership of what you have the right to decide who it goes to. But it's not yours. It's God. It's not yours. The miser. You have, you're right. You have a right to decide who it goes to, but you don't have a right. But it's not yours. And if and that little bit to sell to, to sell your decision of who you give it to, you can't sell it. With a Kenyan, it doesn't work. It's not transferable. They're the same way that you know why they didn't use a scarf because it won't work. And for the same reason, selling it together with the land, transfer land also won't work because it's not money to be transferred. So that's why. That's why. That's why he did it. To, that's why he. Did, that's why. So that's not a good answer. And therefore, what? And therefore, the only possible. Therefore, the only possible way that he was transferring it was what. Was with Kenyan Chatzer, and that's why we had a kasha. We saw that Kenyan Chatzer works, even though what? Even though the recipient is not standing, even though even though nobody's standing next to it to guard it, even though the recipient who's getting the land is not next to it to guard it. No, so usually, I told you, usually the word field sada generally means sada is is, is is unfenced. When we say Chatzer, we mean fenced for the moment, and, and sada means unfenced. That's the usual word. Sada, that's why I tried, I tried to give you that little uh, bias when we started. <laughs> Uh, right, but 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 but, but, he, but he wasn't getting it into his hand. He had to get how how if I give you something you put in your hand, you acquire it. How's he acquiring it on the boat? They're miles away from the mine. It's it's back on the shore. It's in the field. It's in the field of every He has no one. He's getting he's getting actual mice. No, no, no. The point is like this. I'm I'm trying to give you something. I'm I I have a right to decide where my mice goes. So when I transfer, when I give something to you, what I'm really giving to you is here. It's my decision where the mice is not mine. It's my decision where it goes. So I'm giving it to you. When I put it in your hand, you get it. But the point, the point is like this: what he's trying to say is that, is that why didn't they use a simple Kenyan? The answer is what because what this guy owns, every owner of a field really just owns the decision where it goes, but it's not his, and that is not sufficiently money to be transferred with a Kenyan. So the same way it won't work with a Kenyan Sudar a hanky, it won't work with a Kenyan of what that when I transfer the land, I transfer this. He, it's not money. It doesn't work. The only way to the, the, if you gave it to somebody and say, here, give it to somebody else, you're giving him the ability to choose. So that's, so, a, that's so the Hanna. We're, we're saying that, but... but the he's giving it to National Coin. Yeah, but he's not... The point is, you're right, but here, if he gave it to him, it's fine. But he's not. The stuff is on his field on the shore. He's in a boat. He's he's saying to this guy, this is yours. How is he giving it to him? He doesn't have a mice in his hand to give him. 
How is he trans? So we're, at this moment, we're suggesting, you know what? His rights to this are so ephemeral, they can't be transferred by what? By a simple Kenyan. Either the, either it's going to be in the guy's courtyard or not. So we're back in the hole again. The only way to say that he transferred is what? Is he gave him the yard and it's their yard and it's their stuff because it's in their yard. And it's their yard, even though what? And it's, and even though what? Not even there. though they're not guarding it. So we had a good kasha. And that's why he didn't accept it. So now we have a kasha and hula. Why well, says Veloi? So you know what? But that answer is no answer. It's not, thank you. It's not an answer. Why? Why? He says, Matnas Kahuna Nesiva Kisina. He says, You're making a mistake. It really it says here the gifts of, to a coin, but it's really gifts to the poor. Khalip, okay, they're all, he, all he, he, okay, he, all, it's all it's all called giving. Can okay, therefore what? So you, you, you can only give them as a gift and you can't sell them. That's the point. When you want to transfer gifts to the poor, you can only do it by giving and not by what? Not by selling. Since the Torah news was strict about giving, selling with a hanky is business. He can't do it. And therefore what? He says, but 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 giving land together with Karka, he says, is a great giving. Okay. Okay. Why? Because he's not giving because he's giving the money only for the land, and he's not giving the money for what? He's not giving the money for the miser. So with, to give you the miser, when I, when I give you the hanky, I'm getting the miser. I'm, I'm I'm doing business with the miser. That's not a giving. When I when you acquire the miser to land, the money's for the land. There's no business being done with the miser, and what and that works. And therefore you have no. Therefore you have no kasha. Okay. So therefore what? So so it's quite possible, like we said, that he really gave them the miser as as an agav, and we really did answer Rabbi Abba, and we're home free. Okay, we're home free, and therefore there's no kasha, and it's not true that you prove to me that a field acquires a, a, by chater even when the guy's not standing there. Okay, here's another answer. Okay, I know we look late, but we're not late because we started very late. It's all. <laughs> it, 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 I, I once I had a, I had a good friend. She was a doctor before you know before the millennium. So her her, her in, the, in the end of the, in the, the 90s, so her, her phone message used to say, you know, I'm sorry I'm not here. Please leave your message. And I'll try to get back to you, you know, before before the millennium. She says, and please remember that all please remember that all things are relative. She says, <laughs> time is relative. Okay, now, one more. Rav Papa says, another way to answer, another way to defend uh, Rabbi, uh, to defend Ula against Rabbi Abba. And you say, well, you know what? You're right. It's true what you said. Rabban Gamliel was really using Kenyan Chatzar. I, if that's true, if the rabbis receiving weren't standing next to it, why did it work? But here's the difference: you're making a mistake. There's a big difference between between acquiring something from Hefker or acquiring something when somebody's selling to you, giving it to you. Oh, he says what? He says he says he says das acheres makna osam. Over here, it belongs to somebody. Okay. And somebody else is selling it, is giving it to him. I'm here. Remember, I discussed this the other day. It's easier to acquire from someone than what? Than from no one. So when somebody's giving it to you, okay, uh, okay, Shani, okay, and that's different than a lost object. By a lost object, nobody's standing there. In other words, so when do you need to be, when do you need such a strong acquisition that you're next to it? When it's a lost object, you're trying to acquire where from, from no one. But when someone is pushing it into your domain, you don't need to be standing there. It's good enough. I mean, not Tamra, okay? And how do I know to make a difference between when another mind is pushing into your domain or acquiring from nowhere? It's not because we learned. It's our, now, finally, why we have this whole discussion? Finally, ta-da, back to our Mishnah. See, this is how we got back to our Mishnah. Okay, why? Oh, oh, yeah, and, and, Rabbi, I'm really sorry, this, but take a look. If you learn the way I learn, this makes sense. If you don't, how come everybody's not? Why is this Gemara talking? What does this have to do with the Mishnah? Why are you saying all these things? Why did they get upset about the, that the Gemara? How come everybody's not yelling at the Gemara? The answer because they're listening to the argument. They'll get there. Just listen to the lesson. You'll get there. Why, why did they scream at the Gemara? How come, you, how come you're digressing? Why are you digressing? This is, listen to the lesson. You'll see. I'll get there. I'll show you. What does that do with our Mishnah? Stay tuned. Keep your hat on. Keep your hat on. He says, now he says, I'll show you from my Mishnah. Why? Because he's learned. He says, he says, okay, why? Because well, Rabbi Yirmiya, we learned about our Mishnah when it said that what that the lame, the lame uh, um, animal, etc., is in your field, and you say my field acquired for me. That's when the guy, they're still slow enough that if he if he runs after them, he can grab them before they leave his field. Rabbi Yirmiya, Rabbi Yirmiya was was in doubt. 
Bimatana, when it comes to a gift, okay, hey, what will be the rule by a gift? Okay, okay, by a gift, okay. And then we say, what, if he can't, if a guy gives you a gift, but you can't get to it, does you feel the choir or not when it's not watched? So Kibli Ne Rabba Bakahana, okay, Rabba uh, 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 Bakahana, had a he learned a tradition from Rav Kahana who answered this question. He said, "What he answered? The, he answered. He answered himself. He answered him the, the doubt. He said, Even if he runs after and he can't get to it, it's good enough if it's a gift. If it's a mitzia, if it's a lost object, if he can't have control over it, he doesn't acquire it. Okay. If he can't, even forget about he's standing there. If he can't get it, he doesn't acquire it. But when it comes to a gift, even if he can't have control over it, he does acquire it. My timer. What's the reason? It's when something with well, his Another conscious mind pushing into his domain, shiny, it's different. So now we're home free, and uh, okay, and this we can continue the next part tomorrow. Don't worry about it. But the thing is like this. In other words, what's the difference? I mean, we've, we've had this several times. When somebody else owns something, is transferring it to you, it's much easier to make the transfer. There's a conscious mind there doing the job. When you're crying from Hector, it's dead. You're crying from dead people. It's not even, it's not even a dead man. From, you're crying from, from a dead zone. That, that takes much longer. So when you're crying from nowhere, Either you're in, if you're in control, if you're in control, your chutz are acquired, and if you're not in control, the chutz doesn't acquire. When someone else is pushing it into your domain, that's different. You don't have to be so much in control because there's another mind protecting you, pushing it into you. And then we'll continue more. A good vach, a good chodesh, a good everything. Yeah. The man behind my car. Yeah. And I see yeah. a goose flying, and I say that you know what that goose that's yours. Your mark. Yeah. Wait, wait, it wasn't your goose. Didn't say it's my goose. You said it. Said no, no, no. That's not what I mean. He's the owner. The owner is. I own. I'm, a, I'm the owner. I'm giving you a gift. I own it. Adasa Harris is an owner. It's not a bomb.